Southeast Asia is not renowned for the comfort of its prisons at the best of times. But Huala Prison in the downtown Hanoi has a particularly grim history. This is a place of brutality, a place of torture, and it's a hell that no one wants to stay in. Huala Prison used to take up the whole block in 1993. The Vietnamese government decided that this prime real estate in downtown Hanoi could be put to better use. Most of the original jail has gone. A modern skyscraper with high-end western restaurants and boutique stores now takes up much of the space. But one of the corners of original jail has been preserved as the museum. Visitors can now walk through the cells that have been the scenes of so much suffering. This was a jail by the French colonial government its first prisoners arrived in 1899. The French kept mainly the political prisoners here along with those awaiting sentencing at the nearby courts of justice. It was originally built to house a 500 inmate at the peak in the early 1950s. That's before the French were defeated decisively at Diet Bien Phu and fought out of Indochina. Hua Lo held 2,000 prisoners. When it was built, Hala was one of the largest prisons in Indochina, covering 12,908 square meters. It was also one of the most fortified, using concrete rather than the usual local building materials. It was enclosed by solid stone walls 13 feet high and 2 feet thick. And thus in case the walls weren't already difficult enough to bridge, they were topped with shards of the broken glass and barbed wire connected to high voltage electricity. Gas watch over the outer perimeter from watch towers. The iron doors and locks were even specially shipped over from France. The plastic sculptures illustrate how inmates were stuck 
by one leg, unable to stand or walk. The panels of text in English, Vietnamese, and French lay out the degrading treatment by the prison guard toward their captives and the cruelty suffered by the inmate. The group cell for women prisoners, sculpture figures, are used to demonstrate the condition for female prisoners at Hua La prison under French colonial rule. View of the corridor along death row, where prisoners destined for execution were kept in isolation. On either side are doors to the cells. In the distance, down the corridor is one of the guillotines that the French colonial government used for execution. This is an example of the very small drainage tunnel that several prisoners escaped through. A memorial at Hua La prison for those who died and were incarcerated in the prisons under French colonial rule of Indochina. Hala prison, after all, is a place best known in the West as one of the prisons where American pilots who had been shot down and captured were kept as prisoners of the war. John McCain was held here at various times during his five and a half years. There are two rooms dedicated to the American pilot prisoners of war. The artifacts, photos, and text portrayed a markedly better image than the rest of the prisons. In that room, there is also the flight shirt and parachute that John McCain was wearing on his ill-fated booming mission when he was sought down and fished out of the Chupac Lake. <laughs> 